If there was anything good that I did, it was all embodied in him. I was his hero. He was my heart. And then he looked at me and he said, Daddy, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> There's a difference between doing a radio show and being on the radio and loving radio. He said, the only thing in my life I really have passion for besides being a, a, a father is, is listening to Dino. It hit me for the very first time that day. Where am I going now? No one else sounds like Dino. No one else talks like Dino. No one else is Dino. I think that's what a lot of people are drawn to, too. It's the organic feel of the show. You don't know where it's going to go. I want to come across as real. I want to come across as authentic. I want to come across in all of the ways that define me, whether it's good or bad. I grew up in a dysfunctional home. I mean, my dad and my mom were, were, were often fighting. With the estranged relationship I had with my father growing up, my mother served in a dual capacity. She, she was my mom and she was my dad. I love having my mother around me, talking, laughing, crying, living life every single day. She protected me, absolutely, always. So you took the brunt of it that you wouldn't. You had no idea. Somebody told me a long time ago, you can't live on love. Love doesn't pay the bills. I learned that at a heavy price. They can look high and low across this country. There is no one who's going to be able to pull off this show like I will. I live in the past. But I got to tell you, I, and you probably feel like me, I would imagine many of you do. This is really only the start.